Boy, was that really lovely. Beautiful scene, great animals. That couldn't have been better. Hello, hello. Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions of people take the next step in their creative journey. They have thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including photography, art, business, marketing, illustration, graphic design, creative writing, music, and lots more. Members get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. There are no ads and they're always adding new premium classes. This week, I've been watching a class by National Geographic photographer Amy Vitale. Her class on documentary photography is excellent. Amy will take you step by step through her best practices of finding the beauty in a person or an experience and telling a story through that. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can explore your creativity. Thanks again to Skillshare and enjoy the video. It's a lot of grasshoppers. Got some pronghorn over here. Uh, two does with two little fawns and they're so cute. I kind of wish I brought the 200 to 600 here because they're a little far away. But it's really nice. The grasshoppers have crushed all this grass right here. So I can actually get low and uh, get their upper bodies up above the kind of the meadow here. So there, oh, there's a good one, just a lone one. Um, it's real hazy back there. So we get a really cool textured layer effect in the background. Uh, it's cloudy, so no harsh light making their bright white parts overexposed. So it's really nice. I think uh, this is gonna be another black and white potential. Uh, because it's pretty monochrome other than the kind of golden yellow grass. But uh, I'm just getting as low as I can get here, hoping for cute little moments. I'm shooting wide open on this lens right here, which is f5.6. There's a really nice two of them posing. Oh, the third one's coming in. Oop, they're overlapping a little bit. I wish they'd all three be separated. But, uh, oh, they're super cute. There we go. Um, anyway, it's just lovely out here. Background kind of fades away into the haze. And getting low is putting the pronghorn in front of the background instead of being up higher it would be, oh, hang on. They would be overlapping. So it's a really nice spot to be right now. Ooh, I just missed a great photo because I was shooting video, but all four of the pronghorn were kind of in profile and none overlapping. That would have been really sweet. Uh, I'd love to get a little closer. I wonder if I should get up there and try. They seem curious, but not scared. 
Can you even hear me because of the wind? I don't know. Anyway, it's uh, a pretty cool little situation here with pronghorn. Did I mention that pronghorn are the fastest land animals other than a cheetah? It's true. So if I stand up and they run off, I won't be able to catch them. All right, they're just all grazing. Uh, let me see, yep, there they are, just grazing. Looking beautiful, nice background. Uh, being down low is the right call here. I'm gonna risk it, stand up, see if I can move a little closer. We'll see what happens here. One of the fawns just saw me, one of the does just saw me. I'm gonna walk, not look at him. I'm gonna walk kinda zigzaggy style in on him. See if maybe, they obviously know I'm here. I'm talking, I'm sticking out like a sore thumb way over here. You can see my car over there too, right? So I'm not too far from the car. Uh, I'm gonna wait till they start grazing again and then I change directions, yep, they're all grazing. So I'm just kind of walking sideways to them, not looking, and uh, creeping in just a little bit at a time here. See if that works. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But at the moment, it's working. Because they're all four heads down just grazing. So I'm going to find a good spot with a good background. Uh, and then I'm going to lay back down in the dirt get low. Yep. Oh, I hear sandhill cranes in the distance. Okay, they're all four grazing again. Time for me to lay down. Okay, let's see what happens. Ooh, beautiful background. Okay, I like this a lot. Okay. All right. I'm at f5.6, ISO 400, 1 800th of a second. They're all grazing. I got a giant bison turd in the foreground right in front of me, which was not smart. So I'm gonna move about 15 feet to the left, because even though most of that foreground will just vanish, uh, a big black bison turd right in the way will show up and that ain't cool okay perfect now I just got to hope that they kind of cooperate and pose for me all line up properly whatever you know what I mean I'm gonna zoom out a little bit because I want to include just that really subtle, beautiful outline of the mountains behind them. Yeah, that's going to be sweet. They're all just grazing, so I got to wait for their heads to come up. There's an airplane flying over. Maybe they'll look up at that. Very lovely. Uh, I got to zoom out. I want to get, want to get some of the mountains behind them here. Mama. There's an LR. They're walking straight at me. I think they're getting curiouser. Curiouser or more curious? You know what I mean? bison turd in the foreground. They are really close to me. So pretty. 
and babies. Oh my gosh, you guys are so pretty too. Get over there with Mama. Oh, this is going to be really beautiful. Gorgeous. Is this fantastic or what? This is awesome. What's up, two little cuties? That couldn't have been better. They're still curious. They're still like hanging out. Mama, especially, just giving me great poses. Beautiful background. Wonderful. This is truly excellent. I love this. Got to remember to shoot some verticals here. Uh, just on the isolated... Another airplane. Sheesh. Okay. That could be it. They seem to be kind of... They're showing me the buttocks. Four of them are walking away now. Sounds like sandhill cranes are coming in though, but... Boy, was that really lovely. Beautiful scene, great animals. Uh, I feel really lucky to have had that experience out here today. Um, thanks for watching. I think that'll be the whole video. Just my little scene out here with this pronghorn family. I'm not quite sure what was going on there. If this was two moms, each with a single fawn, it felt like it was one mom with two fawns because they were kind of, like when they got scared, they both of them went to one of the, one of the does. Regardless, it doesn't really matter. Um, anyway, I think the, uh, the, the most important thing out here was background, background, background. Getting low here made the shot. Um, and I should have taken a couple of demonstrations. So like, they're way far away now. I'm gonna shoot a couple of them here and then I'm gonna stand up real quick and shoot the same shot. And uh, it's not a perfect demonstration of what that was like because when they were here, it was much better. Uh, when they were closer than further away. Um, a little filthy. So, anyway, I'm still rambling on and on and on because I'm excited because that was wonderful. Uh, I think there were nice photos there, but it was also just a great experience having them come up and be curious and beautiful. But great conditions, great background. So get low when the background requires it. And in this case, it really did require it. Getting low made the photo there. It also happened to really help that pronghorn were curious. It's way too windy, you can't hear me, can you? All right, thanks for watching. Uh, if you wanna make cool photos, these look like antelope, right? A lot of people call them antelope, but they're actually pronghorn. But if you actually wanna photograph, antelope come with me to africa in february and then we'll we'll uh photograph like lions chasing them around cheetahs chasing them around the, the antelope uh it's awesome a lot of this kind of stuff too without the tetons in the background but uh it's gonna be a great trip to africa please join me visit my website or shoot me a message and uh love to have you join so Take care. I'll see you on the next video. I didn't fall in the creek. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Get out there and check your background. Background is super important. See you next time. Bye-bye.